This is Witchbase News for Friday the 18th of September 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Galnet updates continue apace Elite sees its first community goal in 10 months and MCV interviews David Braben. If you enjoy this video remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel that stuff really helps. Updates to the in game Galnet news service have continued in earnest as per Frontiers promise. To date having only been reactivated for a week the service has been updated no less than 7 times already with multiple story threads currently running. In case you weren't an elite player when Galnet was last active you can read the news items yourself from the right hand panel in your ship and you can even get your ship to read the stories for you as well. Before Galnet went offline back in January 2020 Frontier had promised that fluff pieces were gone from the service and that everything that happened on Galnet would have an impact in game so it's definitely worth keeping half an eye on going forward. We were promised last week that community goals would be making a return this week and sure enough yesterday afternoon two community goals surfaced for the first time since the Golconda incident in November last year. There has undoubtedly been a huge amount of new players brought into the game since both Galnet and CGs were last active so this sudden burst of activity in what was quite a static universe must be unusual for them to say the least. To participate in the two haulage based community goals check out the Galnet feed in your ship and get signed up. The rewards will scale up as the goals progress and participation is just a matter of selling the required goods to the local commodity market. The completion of the CGs will see multiple outposts upgraded to starports and the number of starports installed will depend on the volume of goods that get delivered making this the first chance commanders have had to actually affect the shape of the galaxy for some time. Last week it was fantastic to see Galnet finally return and the re-emergence of community goals this week continues that fantastic positive upswing that the game so desperately needs. Long may it continue. Frontier founder and CEO David Braben was interviewed by the trade magazine MCV this week about Frontier's recent and very public shift from developer to publisher. Whilst the article doesn't mention Elite specifically it did reveal a nugget of information that might point to why we haven't seen any significant Odyssey gameplay yet. In essence having been a developer first and a publisher second Frontier comes at projects from a slightly different angle preferring to focus on establishing gameplay and systems first and then making the game look pretty in the final stages. A regular publisher will expect milestones during a games development to be beautiful as well as playable and this can add additional development overheads during a games development oftentimes unnecessarily. It could well be the case that right now while Odyssey is still at the very least 4-5 months away from releasing it may not look very good and therefore Frontier would understandably be reticent to show it off publicly. In any regard it's an interesting interview and does give some insight into where Frontier is at as a company and especially how they've been dealing with lockdown over the last few months. Whilst Frontier obviously isn't wrestling the expectations and requirements of a publisher when it comes to all things elite they are dealing with the expectations of a hungry and vocal community. That voracious community is now eagerly awaiting the date of the next developer diary and whilst Frontier have stated that we're not getting ship interiors just yet in Odyssey we are getting station interiors and can expect to see a first glimpse of that in the next diary. Frankly we can't wait. What are you most looking forward to seeing in the next developer diary and are you keeping up with Galnet and participating in the CGs? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>